How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we have 10 returns stacked up over here all the way from Florida to Michigan. So without further ado, let's get to our first one. Pretty old based on this stamp right here, but Jacksonville, Florida. Hope everybody's mailboxes are full this week. And let's see what we got. No hard card in here. But we have Mr. Storm Davis. One, two, three, four. Wow. Four, four success for Mr. Davis. We have an 84 tops, 87 tops, an 87 Donruss, and then an 88 Fleer. Love that uh, most candy cane looking design there. But Storm Davis. Pitch for the, the A's, the Orioles, the Padres. The Royals and the Tigers. He was a two time World Series champion, once with those Orioles in 1983, and then also with the Oakland A's in 1989. So, have his two World Series teams represented here. Very cool, Mr. Storm Davis. He had 113 wins in his career with a 4.02 ERA and over 1,000 strikeouts, 1,048 to be exact. These cards came back and it looks like, let's do some math here, 95 days. But a 4-4 success for Mr. Storm Davis. I believe he's a great TTMer. I've never sent him before, so one for one on sending off to Storm Davis. Very good. Thank you, sir, for your autograph. Let's put these down here. Our next one is in Orlando, Florida. So staying in Florida, looks like we have a... I don't know who that is. Interesting. We'll see who it is in a second, though. Hopefully, it's not a price list. Very well, could be. Could be that. Let's. See. Oh, it's stuck. Whatever it is. Johnny Damon. All right. Let's see. Oh, nice. Two of two, I guess. Thought he only sent him one, but we have two cards here. We have a 2006 tops. And then a 2010 tops. Very cool. Johnny Damon. I actually got him years and years ago. I think when he was a, a Yankee or a Red Sox. Something like that. And I was shocked to get it then. I was shocked to get it now. Johnny Damon had... I thought he was going to get 3,000 hits to be honest. But he had, I think, just under 2,800. With 235 home runs. Over 1,100 RBIs. And over 400 stolen bases in his career. He started off with the Kansas City Royals. Then went over to the A's for a season. It was of course a part of the Boston Red Sox team that reversed the curse in 2004. After that went to the rival Yankees. And then finished his career off with the Tigers, the Rays, and the Indians. He was a two-time All-Star in 2002 and 2005. Won those two World Series championships. Of course reversed the curse as we said in 2004. And then with the Yankees in 2009. Also led the... American League and stolen bases in the year 2000 with those Kansas City Royals. Man, what a great return from Johnny Damon. I did send him only one card. I believe it was the 2006 tops. So he included the 2010 with as well. But awesome return. These cards came back in just 41 days. Looks like he has his foundation here. Probably going to have to send him a nice donation. Just was shocked to get these back. I think I've seen somebody else get them back recently, but man, Johnny Damon, I was such a big fan of his. Still am, of course, but I'm going to have to send a donation probably to his foundation. So check that out too. Looks like he has a little, uh, little business going with some hydration. But we're going to feature that 2006 tops because I'm 99% sure that's what I sent to him. Got a bunch of those 2006 tops and then we'll put this 2010 up here. Man. It's really cool if he's going to start signing and uh, taking donations for his foundation to sign. That would be awesome because I have a ton of cards that I'd love to send to him. How about West Palm Beach, Florida? Stay over there. Or stay down south in Florida. This one is very full. Hard card. Mr. Phil Regan. Very cool. Got a 65 tops there. Beautiful blue ink. And then a 61 tops. That turned out fantastic. 
two of two success for Mr. Phil Regan. Very cool. Had 96 wins in his career with a 3.84 ERA. 92 saves. 743 strikeouts. Pretty incredible. Played with the Tigers, the Dodgers, the Cubs, and the White Sox. Actually managed the Baltimore Orioles for a little bit in uh, 1995. I think he only had 71 wins that year though. But after that went on to be a pitching coach for a very long time. I believe with the... Uh, his last with the New York Mets in 2019. During his playing career with the Los Angeles Dodgers, he was an all-star in 1966 as well. Played with some incredible pitchers, Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, Claude Osteen, Don Sutton. So I believe he was a reliever with them, and he, he did very well in the 1966 season. He went 14-1 with a 1.62 ERA. 88 strikeouts and 116 pitch or 116 innings and led the NL in 21 saves. Believe it or not, 21 saves was what got you to win um, the, the saves crown that year. But also was the NL comeback player of the year and the reliever of the year in 1966. So pretty cool. Gets traded from Detroit over to the Dodgers. Gets moved to the, the bullpen and has a fantastic season back like that. Checking out my spreadsheet here. Going way down the list of the yards. He came back in just 47 days. Thank you, Mr. Phil Regan, for your autograph. Very cool. That's 61 tops. Turned out fantastic. They both turned out great, but look how that pops. So put that stand up there. Picture that 61. Very cool. Got eight more to go, or no, seven more to go. Tampa, Florida, very weird. This one, it's got a lot going on to it, too. Feels like we have. Looks like a little bit of my letter request. Oh, use this protection, very nice. But Hector Lopez, nice vintage return there. On a 58 tops. And a 59 tops, two of two success. Really nice blue ink there for Mr. Hector Lopez. He's, I believe, like 91 years old, 92 years old now. Playing the majors from 1955 to 1966, just for the Kansas City A's and the New York Yankees. So spent a lot of time in each of those cities. Won two World Series with those Yankees in 1961 and 1962. Had a 269 batting average with 136 home runs and 591 RBIs. Very good career for Mr. Hector Lopez. Checking out the spreadsheet here. These came back in just 8 days. Super quick return. Love getting these vintage cards signed too. Fantastic. Put these down here. Going to have to feature that 58 tops. And we are leaving Florida and going up to Cleveland, Ohio. Let's see if Cleveland rocks today. We'll throw it back to the Drew Carey Show. We have, whoa, Shane Bieber. Another surprise. Got a one of two success. He signed the stadium club though, not the, not the heritage. That's quite all right. Check that out. Shane Bieber, that's a sweet shot too in that stadium club. But, of course, won the Cy Young in the shortened 2020 season. Currently, let's see here. I think he has, it's going to be around 44, 45 wins, I think, last I checked. His ERA is under 3.5 for his career. And he is quickly approaching 1,000 strikeouts. And he put on quite a show in his first All-Star game in 2019. I believe he came in and just, he struck out three straight hitters. I don't remember exactly who it was. I just remember being extremely impressed by that. And then, of course, was an All-Star in 2021 as well. And might be well on his way to being an All-Star again in 2022. So, I believe he was the last guy to win the Triple Crown in the pitching 2020. And he led the AL in wins, ERA, and strikeouts. Very surprised this came back, though. Especially in season. I think I... I know I got him once before, but I sent it in season and it came through the offseason. So, I was hoping for that again, but 
got lucky he sent back in the middle of the season. This card came back in just 57 days via Progressive Field. So thank you, Mr. Shane Bieber, for your autograph. That is cool. Man. Next we have, I think it's my first stadium club too from 2021 sign. We're gonna stay in Columbus, so we're gonna stay in Ohio next and go to Columbus, Ohio. So no hard card in this one either. It will be another current player. No, nice shocker. Bobby Carpenter, two for two on two rookies. 2006 playoff and a 2006 Bowman. Man, this guy was a beast at Ohio State. Him and A.J. Hawk just running around. Of course, is there from 2002, I think, to 2005. Was a first-round pick by the Cowboys in 2006. I want to say it was 18th overall. It's been a few seasons there. And then kind of floated around with the Rams, the Dolphins. A little bit more with the Lions. And then I think he finished things off with the Patriots. But in college, he not only won a national championship his freshman year in 2002... But he was a two-time All-Big Ten linebacker. Very cool. I think he's in radio now, and I believe that's where I sent this off to, is to the, his local radio station. But I could be wrong on that one. It might be a home address. But he's a really, really funny guy if you give a listen to him. Really uh, just a big jokester. Seems like a really good guy in general. So thank you, Mr. Bobby Carpenter, for signing my cards. They both came back in 53 days. So very cool. That was kind of a little bit of a surpriser. A lot of surprises this week. Let's go to Metroplex Michigan next. This one has a very large top loader in it. Card saver in it. Whatever you'll call it. We have... Nice. You know, I wasn't a big... I wasn't real keen on sending this out. Let's see if he signed it. A tall boy. It's the first one I've ever sent out before. But that car looks amazing. I think this is a 71, 72. Nice. This is not his rookie. This is his second year. And I believe this is his third year. But check those out. I think this is a 71. This is a 72. But Dave Bing. Basketball Hall of Famer. Adding to that Basketball Hall of Fame collection. Adrian Dantley kind of has me on a little bit of a kick. I think I have to send a George Gervin soon here, too. I believe he signed. And then Robert Parrish, too. I've gotten him back recently. But Dave Bing, he was a seven-time All-Star. Spent the majority of his career with the Detroit Pistons. Then a year with the, the Bullets, not the Wizards. And then a year with the Boston Celtics to finish out his career. But he was the second overall pick in the 1966 draft out of Syracuse. Of course, those Detroit Pistons. As we said, he was a seven-time All-Star. Was also the Rookie of the Year in 1967. And led the NBA in scoring in 1968. He had over 18,000 points in his career. Over 3,000 rebounds and over 5,000 assists. Thank you, Mr. Dave Bing. These cards came back in just nine days. He does have a fee. I believe it is $10 per. Well worth it, though, for a Hall of Famer. Love getting these cards signed. I'm going to have to put that tall boy down here and feature this one. I really like the font and the lettering on this card. I think I've gotten a Gail Goodrich on a very similar one. But check that out. Very cool. This is a 60. No, it's not a 68. This is a 71, as we said earlier. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Dave Bing. We still have a couple more to go. Our next one's a private signing, though. Atlanta Metro. I don't know why I cover that up. Hard card in here. I believe I know who it is. Pull it off screen for a second. Get these out. Oh, he put them both in uh, penny sleeves for me too. Brian Giles. Kind of skipped the B there a little bit, but that's okay. Two, two. Well, of course it was. It was a private signing. But I sent off this 2006 Tops, mainly because I have a bunch of these 2006 Tops. I opened a lot of that looking for the Alice Gordon rookie card. And just thought it looked cool. He spent the majority of his career with the Pirates and the Padres, so I figured he'd get one of each. There's his rookies and stars from his time with the Pirates. But, man, he, he had a 
really nice couple of years there in Pittsburgh. That 2000 and 2001 season, I mean, that's when Barry Bonds was really going off, but he had over a 1,000 ops in three of those seasons while he was with Pittsburgh. I think it was in, two, in 1999 he had uh, an ops over 1,000, 2,000 he did, and then in 2002 I think it was too. So pretty incredible three-year span there. Somehow didn't, I mean, I guess because he was playing with the Pirates, no offense to the Pirate fans out there, but he didn't even crack top 10 in MVP those years. And look at his numbers. He had 35 home runs, 37 home runs, 38 home runs, well over 100 RBIs. I mean, pretty incredible. Just this guy was, he was great at hitting home runs, great at getting on base, taking a walk. So played 15 years in the majors. Just absolutely incredible career. I think it was a 291 batting average with 287 home runs, over a thousand RBIs. Of course, it was a two-time All-Star, year 2000 and 2001 for those Buckos. And then he made a big trade, traded him to the uh, the Padres, as you see here, and they picked up some some franchise guys that probably Pittsburgh Pirate fans wish would have stayed around a little longer. Jason Bay and Oliver Perez both did really well. Of course, Bay won the Rookie of the Year, and Perez I think is even still pitching to this day. But let's see here. I want to say I spent fifteen dollars per on these, but I will double check. Let me see here. Down to my G's. Yeah, I spent I sent uh fifteen dollars each for these cards. So I was really looking for a refractor or something like that. If he has another private sign in the future, I might try to do a a, a tops current refractor from either two thousand or two thousand and one, something like that. But. Very cool. Happy to add these to the collection. Brian Giles from a private signing. This one really pops and turned out well. Even picked up it one of the last card show is that I picked up a, I think one of his almost a rookie card signed rookie card of his for like four dollars. So I don't know. I really wanted to get that though. I was a big fan of his. I still remember watching him at PNC Park leaping over the left field fence, making a fantastic catch when I was there. Last two are from Seattle, Washington. So let's get at it. No hard card in this one. Not sure who it is. They did protect it. And we have John Olrud. 2000. Ooh, that looks nice. We have a 2003 Tops, I believe it is. Gold Glove Award winner. And then a nice Bowman Chrome flashbacks. So I think this is from like oh, 2015 maybe? Yep, 2015. Very cool. John Olrood. 2 of 2 success. Turned out fantastic. I have a nice little refractor to it at that 2015 throwback card. Let's see here. John Olrood. Hit almost 300 for his career. 295 career average. Over 2,200 hits, 255 home runs, and 1,200 runs batted in. Played for the Blue Jays, where he won two World Series in 1992 and 1993. Spent a short time with the Mets, and then a good bit of time with the Mariners. Finished things off with the Red Sox in 2005. Was a two-time All-Star in 1993 and 2001. Won three Gold Glove Awards in 2000, 2002, and 2003. And led the AL in batting in 1993. Very nice career for Mr. John Olrood. He's been a great TTMer for a long time. I believe he only signs two per. Checking out the spreadsheet. These came back in just 40 days. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. John Olrood. To put that down there. Man. I gotta. I think I'm gonna have to drop Hector Lopez. Put him down here. Because this card just looks shine on it really nice and our last return is from Seattle Washington thank you to everyone that has watched especially this far getting to that 20 minute mark real fast we have that's kind of cool so Warren Moon two of two and he sent an extra top loader very nice I Definitely would not. I, I probably sent one. I definitely did not send two, though. So, very cool of him to send another top loader along. Or another card saver. 
check those out. We got a 1991 upper deck. He put the Hall of Fame inscription too. Very nice. And then his rookie card. They released his NFL rookie card. I believe he has a CFL rookie card out there that is tough to come by, but he was Mr. CFL. He, uh, he played for the Edmonton Eskimos from 1978 to 1983. And he won five Grey Cups. Five straight Grey Cups. And he was an MVP in two of those. So pretty incredible. I mean, then he went on to the NFL and had a Hall of Fame career there as well. Was the NFL Offensive Player of the Year in 1990. Was a nine-time pro baller. Led the NFL in passing yards twice. Touchdowns once. His number is retired by the Tennessee Titans. So, of course, they were the Oilers and moved up on to Tennessee. But absolutely fantastic return. Love that he is signing. He, of course, requires a fee. It is only $10 a card, though. And these cards came back in, it looks like, 33 days, if my math is correct. But pretty sweet to add that rookie card to the collection. And this card is pretty cool, too. I love the MVP down there. That turned out fantastic. So... Thank you, Mr. Warren Moon. I don't even know where to put you. We got, let's see, two Hall of Famers today, right? Yep, two Hall of Famers. A lot of vintage. Johnny Damon, Shane Bieber are a little newer. Same with, I guess, Brian Giles and Bobby Carpenter. So a really nice mix today. Got some football, got some baseball, got some basketball. But thank you for watching, everyone. It's been, <laughs> it was a really surprising week, I'd say, this week. I hope your mailboxes are full as well, full of surprises, and bye for now.